In the previous tutorial, we learned how to load a model at runtime in Unity. However, the model was displayed in magenta color because it lacks material. In this tutorial, we will learn how to assign material to a model loaded on the runtime using C# -sharp code in Unity. Let's get started. Open the project from the previous tutorials in Unity Hub. In the Unity editor, let's add a default material to assign to the loaded model. In the project section, I will create a new folder under the assets folder. I will name it materials. Inside the materials folder, right click and select create, then material. I will assign a gray color to this material. So I will rename it to gray. You can rename it to the color you desire. While the material is selected, I will change the color in the inspector to gray. Click on the color input field and pick a color or enter its red, green, and blue values manually. I will input 175 for the R, G, and B values to make up the gray color. Okay, let's create the c -sharp code that manages the display of the model. Under the scripts folder, right click and select create, then c -sharp script. I will rename the file to display. Select the scripts game object in the hierarchy and drag the display script file into its inspector to attach it to the game object. Double click the display script file to open it in your code editor. I will delete the start and update methods because we don't need them. Let's create a method that assigns a material to a game object. I will name it set material. It takes two parameters, a game object that we named model and the material that we named material. The model game object may contain multiple meshes or children inside. A child that can have material would have a renderer component attached to it. So we can assign materials to all children by looping through all the renderer components in the main model. The get components in children method returns a list of the components we pass between the angle brackets. In this case, a list of renderers. Then we can assign the material passed to the set material method as a parameter to the renderer using the material method. In the previous tutorial, we loaded the model using the open file script. We can call this method after we load the model inside the open file script. Let's save this file and go back to the Unity editor to open the open file script. Double click the open file script to open it. Let's add a public variable to assign the material we created in the Unity editor earlier as a default material to it. I named it default material. We need to use a method from another script file, which is the display script. A script file is also known as a class or a component. We need to refer to that script class or component in a way. I will create a private variable of type display, which is the file name or the class or the component I needed to refer to. I named the variable as display as well. It is also known as an object of the class display. I also need to bring back the start method to assign the display at the beginning. All script files in our project are attached to the script game object we created in the Unity editor. When calling game object without capital G in the code, it refers to the game object this script, open file, is attached to, which is the script game object. Since it is the same game object the display script is attached to, we can call that script using the getComponent method and pass the component name between the angle brackets. Now, this display object is properly assigned. After the model is loaded and geo-anchored here, 
we can call the set material method from the display object with the model and the default material as parameters. That's it for the code. Let's save the file and go back to the Unity editor. Locate the material we created earlier. Select the script game object and drag material into its place inside the open file script. Press the play button. I will search for an address in the app. Let's open an OBJ model. There is a link to a sample model in the previous tutorial. We can see that the material we defined here is now assigned to our loaded model. Great job! In this tutorial, we learn how to assign material to an object at the runtime using C-sharp in Unity.